So I've been having this issue with Firefox for a while where I've wanted to set a custom HTML page as my new tab page. As you know, probably know, you can do this with a website, but you can't do this with uh, your own HTML, which is hosted locally on your computer. So you can see here, I have a new tab. When I open it, it's just blank. We're gonna change this now so that you can open a custom HTML. You see this is saved in my documents folder and we're gonna set it so when you open a new tab, it's going to open this instead. So the first thing you're going to do is just open your HTML in Firefox. So you just simply go to your file explorer and HTML. Uh, it probably will have a full Firefox icon beside it, but if it doesn't, just go to open with and find Firefox. So once you do that, you, you can double click on it and it will open here. I already have it open, so. Well, we're going to go download this Firefox extension, custom new tab page. Now I know a lot of people use a uh, new tab override, I haven't been able to get this method to work uh, with that, so uh, but I can with custom new tab page. So we're going to use this one. Now here we have this GitHub. You're not going to have to download anything, don't worry. This is just because it has a nice little tutorial. Now it is for a different uh, add-on, so we're going to have to change some things around a little. Well, not change things, but just do things slightly differently. Um, I'll leave a link this, to this in the description, just in case you need it. At the top we have uh, for Chrome and Edge, but here we need Firefox, since it uses a different uh, engine. So the first thing you want to do, gonna want to do, is I have all these links here. So I'm just gonna copy paste them. I'll leave all these in the description as well. Is we're gonna want to go to this, which is about debugging hashtag runtime. This Firefox. I already have this open here, and this will bring you to a page with all of your extensions on and just little bits of information about them. So you want to you're gonna want to scroll down to find custom new tab page, which we have just added to Chrome or to Firefox. And you're gonna see here there's internal UUID, and then beside that we have this long string of characters and numbers. So what you're going to want to do is just select that, copy paste it, just copy paste it into a notepad or just anywhere you can put text just because we're going to need this later and it will just save you coming back here. So just put it in here and continue on. So next thing, next page we're going into is just about config. So just put all these in the, in the address bar. So about config, that's where we're going, and you're going to get this message, don't worry about it, just click accept risk and continue. And you're going to get given this. So this is where all of this part comes into play. This is probably the hardest part, once you get by this, it's very simple. So in here, I'm just going to show you how to do one of these, all of these are done the same way, uh, just with different text. So we're going to do this. So you're just going to take the name, where it says name, and then there's quotes, and you're going to want to copy that. Sl paste it in here, don't use the quotes. And you see, I already have this one done, so I'm just going to put two S's at the end. But you should only have one S at the end. So just copy paste this exactly without the quotes. Then you're going to get given this little menu. You're going to want to click string and this plus sign. Now where it says value, you're going to want to copy paste this again without the quotes. Control C, Control V, and click the little tick. And then that will be added. And you're just going to want to do these with the other two. Now with the third one, you're going to have to do it slightly differently. When you copy it, you're going to see here in these uh, little less than greater than signs, uh, internal UUID. This is just what we copied here. So we're just going to take this and replace this. And then you can just take this and paste this in when you're doing this one. And if you want to make sure you've done these right, just uh, have capability.policy in up here and you should see all three of what you've done and just make sure they look the same as this. So if everything looks the same as this, you should be able to continue. Next place we're going to go is about colon add-ons. So when you put that into your address bar, you're going to be brought here where you're going to see all your add-ons. Now just make sure custom new tabs is enabled. If it's not, it will be down here and you'll just have to click this little uh, thing here. Of course, uh, this is not custom new tabs. Here is custom new tabs. I already have it turned on. So we have these three dots here. Click on them and under the remove option, you should see just a button called options. So just click that and you'll get brought to here. Now you need to go back to where you opened your HTML and copy what's in the address bar. Don't go into File Explorer and then just like copy the path from here. Instead, just copy from here. It just makes your life so much simpler because you have to copy it slightly differently. So once you go back here, you're gonna to wanna to put that, what you've just copied in there. And then you can set the title, which is just what you see at the top. So you can see here, that's a new tab. Um, that doesn't really matter. You can keep that as a new tab or you can change it to whatever you want. Then theme, this will just change the background color. I don't really suggest that because that can mess with your styling if you've styled your website a certain way or your HTML, whatever. So just leave that none unless you want to have a custom color to background. 
Then these two, you can just leave these blank. I don't exactly know what they do, but I've left them blank and everything's worked. So then click save, and these things should be saved. So now we'll see if I close this tab and I open a new tab, we can see here this opens up. And if I click on it, you can see it brings me to the page too. So this, I have two pages here. I also have a style sheet. So you can see these are all referencing um, each other. And if you had to just put this file in directly, uh, they wouldn't reference each other because add-ons can't usually access local files. But we just what we've done is we've just given the this extension the ability to access local files. So now we can open this and you can open links. If you have any questions about it, just ask in the comments or you can double check here because this is this gives all the um, all the steps that we just did. We're just uh, doing them with a different extension.